fixing us for breakfast? Cinnamon rolls in an electric skillet off grid. And everyone says you can't have the finer things in life when you're off grid. <laughs> finer things like cinnamon rolls. Oh, well, yeah. There's a part of me that I think would prefer to have cinnamon rolls baked in a wood-fired oven. I think that'd be cool. But, hey, this is good, too. Well, one day we'll have an Orno. Yep. So. What's an Orno? It's one of those ovens, those brick ovens things. Right? Did I say it wrong? No, you said it. I, I just wanted you to explain. For, oh. Yeah. Well... Let me sit down here and look all studious. I don't know if you can see me. <laughs> Today on Masterpiece Theater. An Orno is an outdoor oven made of dirt. It's spelled H-O-R-N-O. -O. Yes. Orno. And it's wood fired. I it's made make of adobe. Yeah, I said it's made of dirt, is what I said. Oh, dirt, yeah. <laughs> but it is made of adobe, and I'm going to have one here at Contentment, and I can't wait to use it. Plus, I want to make a homemade rocket stove, too. I think the cinnamon rolls are ready. And we now have cinnamon rolls. They smell a little done, but I don't care. I am starving. Anyway, let's look at them. Here are the delicious home taste. <laughs> they're homemade. They're they're semi homemade. I'm sure they are. Oh look, mm. babe, you did a great job. It works. Yeah. All right. He's he's good to keep around, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Chip is crimping. He's going to crimp the wires for the MC Hammer wires. For the MC4, it's a panel made by LG. It's a 260 watt panel. So, in theory, you know, it's supposed to supply 260 watts when the sun's shining. It varies depending on position, things like that. Sometimes a solar panel can do even better than that under the right conditions, particularly when it's really sunny and really cold. Uh, so, um, we've got the connector hooked up on this. We're going to test this panel and see what its voltage is, facing it toward the sun. Um, according to this, we've got a maximum uh, open circuit amper uh, voltage of 8.34 amps. Um, and this thing is a tw it's te technically a 24 volt panel, but the voltage on this can go as high as 31 volts. So, uh, we're going to test this out and see where we're at. Close by. Get one in here. One there. Oh yeah, we're looking good. Um, let me turn this down. Yeah, it's showing about uh, 31 volts. 30, yeah, about 32 volts DC. I don't know six and a half amps so far so let's tilt this down get it facing the sun even more than it is and see if that affects the way it reads yeah the further we tilt it more directly towards the sun the higher our amperage we're just a little bit higher now we're almost seven so as you can see it varies by angle and stuff like that so careful <laughs> okay so this one's done five more to go you're a crimping fool robber i get to crimp today egypt kind of scared me though because he said we don't have extras and i don't want to cut them too short but it's a fun job <laughs> show us how you do it well i had to snip off this end first because it had a messed up end and so you snip off the end then I'm using this to gently score 
this little wire sheathing cover thing and then I'm gonna pull it off. Right okay, so I have this handy dandy handy dandy crimping thing, crimping tool, and it's got three different sizes here, big, little, middle, and small. So we have to find the just right size. And the just right size on this one is going to be the big one like that. So you put that in and then these little flappy wing things have to go right inside that hole like that. You can't really see it, huh? Again. There you see go. how it, it'll crimp them together and then it goes in the middle like that. So I'm going to try that. It's kind of cumbersome because I'm not used to doing this and I want to make sure I don't mess up. Just, you got it. Oh, please don't miss. Oh, it's not on all the way. Push it on all the way, dog. Good enough. Uh, I'll just do it on this little one now. Yeah, it is a little one. But it won't fit on the little one yet. Okay. Then we're going to double crimp it on the little one just to be super safe, sure. Like that, see? And it'll make a little crimp it into the middle. And see how it crimps down into the middle like that? Little flappy wings. And it's on there good. Okay. So now you slide this little piece on like so. And then you slide it on till it clicks. Click. And then just screw this down all the way in. Sometimes you can't do it because I'm not that strong. Mm, okay. And now we see if it has power. And we take it and hold it up to the bright sun and it should be off the top, off the charts because I don't know why. good it's raining over there there and there and there i see the rain stripes yeah and i'm gonna make an elk come over here now oh really mm -hmm. <laughs> wait that wasn't a good one <laughs> <laughs> now i can't do it with you doing that <laughs> that wasn't a good one how did i do it <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i can't do it now so you just have to catch me when i'm not expecting robert's you. playing bull elk today <laughs> I, now I don't know how to do it. What are you doing? Uh, no, that goes in. Uh, it straddles oh. the, yeah, you know, the joint there. Oops. Yeah, that comes out. Uh -huh, you got it. I was doing it very earlier. Oh, I don't need that. Would you get that, please? Yes. Thanks. I'll get it, please. I am putting on an extension here. Um, I don't to make oh. it go to make it go really high up like that because we have to have it up for them all to fit. Oh, where's the hole? It'll go. Oh. I can't get it in now. It'll go. We want it kind of snug like that. That was a better one maybe. It more sounded like an elephant. And then they were going, ah, ah, or something. I can't remember. Did you hear him doing that noise? I heard him. What was that? Like a, I ah, have ah, no ah. idea. Ah. Doing what elk do. We are trying to assemble the frame. The solar panels are going to sit on. The test fit. It's the test fit.